powered by Virginia. Radio. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Kelvin, aka the Big Face Boss. To my left, it's none of your business until I tell you who he is. This might get us canceled. It's the Big Face Bully Boss. Big shout out to my bro, Six Cents. He is not here. He's live on location in New York taking care of his He's not live, but he's in New York doing some other shit. He got things he got to do. But to the left of me, I have a person who's going to sit as my co host. And since he has a talent, I'm going to interview his ass. So, I'm going to introduce you to a brother who's a respected DJ, got connections in the West Coast, and I ain't even been past Ohio. This brother right in here is named Jay Sinatra. How you doing, young man? What's good, bro? How you doing? Bro? Always positive, brother. How you feel? I'm um, peace and blessing. Okay, bro. okay. So, he was a DJ. Yes, sir. Hmm? Call myself a mix master. A oh, mix a uh, mixed master. Wait a minute. Now, slow down. You got to. We we had this conversation earlier, <laughs> and you did that, and I had to tell you last time. You know, DJ Pondy replay. <laughs> okay, okay. So before DJing, because y'all know we was here before, so we had to rewind, regroup, and get our shit together. So we gonna pick up where we left off at. So in case y'all missed the first ten minutes of the first one, my man's a DJ. And he's about to tell us who his influences are. Who the influences were? All right, my influences goes back to like Grandmaster Flash, mm. Jam Master J, mm. DJ Jazzy Jeff, mm. DJ Premier Pete Rock. Mm. Okay. Do you, you know rap? What I'm do do I you rap? do music? <sighs> see, back in the day, and we'll see my. I, back in college, I used to, you know what I'm saying, dabble in um, producing. Okay. I, you know what I'm saying? I did a beat, and it was dope. I ain't going to cap. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I was I was um, blessed to be around, you know, like-minded people, you know. you know, Assist shout you. To, you. You know, no. Like-minded people? Oh, they would help, you know. They okay, would, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me yeah, out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, because we was all in the, in the producing game, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Shout out to Norfolk State, though, you know what I'm saying? Norfolk Before State. Go, Big right. shout out to Double XL, yeah. oh. alumni. Uh, <laughs> you got here with that too. I ain't going to college. <laughs> Shout somebody else out. Facts, 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 facts. But um, but yeah, man, for real, for real, um, for real, for real. When it comes to like DJ, man, mm-hmm. like my influences. I mean, I feel like when it comes to the, um, like as far as my how it started with DJ with mm-hmm. me, it all started when I was you know what I'm saying when I was like a kid and I saw you know the movie Juice. You know what I'm saying? Going back, you know, just, just you know what I'm saying? Just a little, you know, a little backstory. Yeah, yeah, give it to them. Give it you to know what I'm saying? And, give um, them your story, bro. They got to know who you be. So when they see you on the ones and twos in the public, they know how to act and respect you. Because you's a mixologist. Oh, Or man. mixed master, I'm sorry. Oh. A mixed master. <laughs> sorry. Give my man his, his salute for that. You know what he's doing. I like when a person confident in their ability. Real talk, because it shows that you really have a love for what you do. Oh, definitely. You know what I mean? And, definitely. and once you let that... See, people don't understand to do this, what we do, you have to believe in yourself. Definitely. If you don't believe in yourself, the people ain't gonna believe it. You gotta translate. Amen. You know what I mean? So continue on, brother. Tell them. So, the, I wanna know the beginning. Before you became DJ J. Sinatra, what was you before that? Before I was DJ J. Sinatra, yes. I was... James Whitehead. Okay. You know, born out of West Columbia, South Carolina. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Salute the uh, South Carolina moms of Walterboro, real shit. Oh, where? The smallest part of the world. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> 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 <It's in> the world. <laughs> That's it, tiny as a motherfucker. Bro, but they had the biggest Walmart on the East Coast for like the longest. Damn. Stupid shit. <laughs> That's, how, you know, That's how God do. God give an ugly girl a fat ass. <laughs> give a small town a bigger Walmart. The fuck? <laughs> Some dumb shit. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, you know what I'm saying, was born out of there. Um, Moved out to Virginia when I was uh, back in 99. What part of Virginia you moved to? Virginia Beach. The beach? Yeah. Okay. Man. It was. Green it was, one? Elementary. Oh. Uh, elementary. I mean, I went from Green one Elementary, then I went to Lance Town, then okay. I went to Tallwood. Shout out to all them. 
all them schools. Big shout out to the Beach Boys, Leron yeah, Bishop, yeah. man. Free shout my out, boy, man. Yeah. We free Ben Grimm, real talk, man. Big shout out to the Beach Boys, man. So, um, other than that, you know what I'm saying? After that, went to Norfolk State. You know what I'm saying? Did my thing there. That's what actually when I started really getting into DJing for real, for real, because yeah, yeah because it had. Yo, Did you I, see Ja Rule's daughter? No, she went to Hampton University. I'm sorry, she went to Hampton University. She ain't going to Norfolk. Shout out to Ja Rule though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's one of my favorite yeah, rappers. Fuck that nick. No, I like Ja Rule. Damn. <laughs> I was gonna smoke my love, Michael. Jeez. Mike gonna scan some fuck. Gotta see what you gotta see. What you said. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I fuck with Ja Rule. <laughs> Bullshit, nigga. <there>. <laughs> <laughs> Now, so I, right, what was your experience like when you started realizing that music was going to be your thing, right? What was your experience like when you started to metamorphosize from the caterpillar into the butterfly? I think it was my first party. My first, very, very first party. I was, it was my freshman year mm -hmm. of college. I was going, kind of going through already a metamorphosis as well because, not trying to be funny, but I used to be like, 345 pounds back in the day. Okay. So I started working out, getting my body together, right. went and got into DJing. Salute. You know, lost 100 pounds and whatnot. So during that period of time, I was already going, kind of going through a metamorphosis mentally, physically, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And when I was, and getting into DJing. So when I started DJing for real, for real, I was like, it was my first party. I took it, it was like, I, was, I think it was like, maybe like, for like, shit. Hundred dollars or so. Shit, you gotta get your foot in the door. Exactly, exactly. You still do shit for free. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> and it was out. Let me in. <laughs> and it was out some apartments out in Norfolk. I forgot what it was called. Damn, ah, oh, it's gonna come to me though. But, anyways, I was there, bro. I ain't gonna cap. What was the first song you played as a DJ? When you first hit the party, what was the first song you played? Well, I, I probably was playing like. Shit, some Rick Ross doing that time. It was twenty, it was two thousand ten. So okay. you know, what I'm saying Rick Ross had just came out with you know, um, BMF. You know, so okay. I'm playing BMF. I'm trying to, you know, what I'm saying so because back in the day, like when I used to listen to the radio and hear when the you know, what I'm saying the parties would be going out loud and the DJ going crazy on and whatnot. I'm like, yo, this is the type of shit I want. Dude, for oh, real. So, you know Big shout out to Lex Luger from Suffolk, Virginia. You know, he was fucking with the boy Ross. In case you don't know, do your history. Virginia got it popping out on the side. Y'all tripping. Keep going, brother. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anytime you say something about a Virginia nigga, I'm going to fly the flag for him. I promise you. Put oh, your teeth. What up, my nigga? Oh, name? hold on, hold on. Big shout My apologies, but I got to do a big spe special shout out to Missy Elliott. She just came in town with Timberland and, you know what I'm saying? Salute. Did you see the Rolls Royce truck she pulled up in, bro? Woo! So disrespectful. Dang. And then Jack of Spade wanted to sit up there. Shout out to my bro, Jack. He wanted to take pictures with Trey Song. I shared this shit, but I, 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 I didn't want but to. But yo. I was a hater. I, I mean, love Trey Song. I mean, she just stunk on anybody <laughs> back in the day that was like, tried to, that tried to fuck with her. She stunted it on every, like, she just, the way, she, the, like, yo. She pulled up. And, yo, you know what made me feel like shit? Whoa. When... Two chains said, "When they gonna drop that Bentley truck?" I was like, "Yeah, nigga, they need to. That shit look, probably look crazy." And then they she pulled up in a Rolls Royce truck. What the flying fuck is going on around here? And had a nerd to be carrying in purse. Ain't shit in that goddamn bag. You Missy Elliott. Sit up to you, girl. You earned that shit. Hold it oh, down. Yeah. Cause oh, don't doubt. No, Y'all know Lil Kim got that dance for Missy Elliott, right? Look at the "I Can't Stop the Rain" video. <laughs> Who was doing it first? Missy Elliott, nigga. Don't get it fucked up. We gonna give our people they salutes and they flowers, nigga. You know, I know my shit. Anyway, back to you, brother. I'm interviewing and talking at the same time. You multitask. Go ahead. It's all good, my boy. It's all good. It's all good, my Yes, sir. Nice. But, yo, back, like I said, I was playing. I think the first track I played was, like I said, some brick washer. But, like I said, like, but, like I said, I was nervous. I ain't gonna cap. Like, I ain't gonna. It you was. He was gonna throw a shoe at you or some shit, bro. I was. I was. It, 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 it felt. I fe it felt like how at Showtime at the Apollo when you just when you up there you're like, and you see I didn't even have the tapes. I used the computer. Like this is virtual oh, DJ shit. So I'm like, so you 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 new school in it. You yeah. ain't even putting in real work. This, like I said, this is hey. You got a like I said, now. like. I got a nah. I ain't got the Serato. I got the Denon Newmark joint. I got the I got the big boy. I mean, Newmark is a great company. 
Don't shit. get it fucked up. They DJ heavy. Don't get it oh, fucked up. Oh, no, no, that. new motherfucker. Oh, oh, definitely. Definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely heavy now. But, but yeah, you know, I got that, like that, 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 you know. Yeah, I got that. Then like enjoy. Them, them 12, them 1200. Techniques. Oh, definitely, huh? definitely. Y'all don't thought y'all thought I ain't oh, DJ. Definitely. I don't. I just been around my rap. Don't forget. You thought I was a journalist. Thought you had a friend. Got to smoke them every now and then. Oh um, wait. <laughs> so, so let me ask you this: If you had a part, what's the biggest party you DJ for? You did a wedding yet? Hmm. I've done a wedding. I, hey, I'm waiting to do a wedding. I ain't gonna cap. I'm still, you know, saying with the promotion. You know, we're saying then when this. Dumbass COVID had to come in and just had me out of business, not out of business for a few. You know, virtual DJ. Oh, definitely, I did that virtual DJ. Of course, oh, oh, always, always do. You know, what I'm saying session with Sinatra. You know, what I'm saying it was. You know, what I'm saying shit. You know, I'm just looping this nigga. I'm like, <laughs> this nigga Joe. He's dunking all on you niggas. <laughs> the fuck is going on? Pay attention. This shit might get canceled, and you gonna miss this shit. Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man, like for real, for real. But um. I think the biggest party that I've DJed mm. was my party, the first event I did last year. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. a what was your event? It was a Out Virginia Beach. It was a, the nineties two thousands party. It was a. I don't. I still wait. Wait. Where was this at? It was at West Beach Tavern. West Beach. I tell, I'm about to say I seen that fucking fire, bro. I promise you, it was white, right? Nah, the main nah. what color was the fly? It was yellow and white. Tell me it wasn't. It was yellow, pink, and white. It was like in ah, 90s. Ah, yeah, I know it. I, I told you I seen it. Yeah. So that was you. Oh, yeah, that was me, bro. That was you. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, I got a name out in West Beach Tavern. Oh, word. They, they, they love when I come here. I put a hole in there. They said, if you go in there right now, they actually left the hole there. I got the footage. Look, me, Metro Touch, man, this is when I was part of Lux Gang. Big shout out to Lux Gang. Everybody over there, everybody. Um, had a show there. Fucked around. This some dumb shit. I had a ton with me. You know what Metro done? Metro done's fucking crazy. This nigga's energy's like mad. He's stupid. We on the stage. I jump up, had the microphone. He did the hook. I pushed the whole fucking hole in the ceiling. It's still there. I promise you. I can show you previous footage. It's still there. Oh, shit. They love me. They're the only good people. But anyway. Oh, yeah. So no how was your turnout? Your first show? Shit. It, did was, you, did it was you, lit. It was lit. Yeah, man. I had Power by Virginia there. You know, shout out to Power by, by Virginia. You know what I'm saying? Loud this facts. Show was sponsored by the good folks over there. If you need t-shirts, hit Pie by Virginia. If you need to get on the podcast, hit Pie by Virginia. If you need to record some music, hit Pie by Virginia. If you need a babysitter, hit Pie by Virginia. Virginia. You want to, can't tell you everything we do, but just understand, we Pie by Virginia. Whatever you need, we can feed on my mama and them. Continue on, brother. All right. God bless. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> well. <laughs> and the church say, <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout to my bro Kushan Nate. For some reason, you did this shit, you reminded my nigga with the piano game. That nigga's a beat making motherfucker. Shout out to Kushan Nate with this bitch. Oh, I told you, you shouldn't see. I get excited, excuse me. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, Monte, that's my nigga. He, he don't even care. I don't even care. He's probably got a That's Monte, man. I fuck my nigga. Good nigga. But continue. So, your first show was a success. Oh, definitely. When's definitely. the next one? Or did you have a next one? Oh, yeah, I did have another one. It was Bango Cap. Some days you, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and to, to, quote, to quote a wise man, okay. you know what I'm saying? You win some, you lose some. Oh, so you had a dud. I had a dud. The second one was a dud. I ain't gonna call it. The, the second one was a dud. I ain't gonna even count. Oh, then you're good then. As long as your first one was a smash well, hit, the second, second one is not a dud. It's okay. Oh, yeah. The it's first okay. One was lit. Because see, the first one is gonna set the tone. Oh, definitely. You know definitely. The second one, you might have did something different. Yeah. Probably yeah. really didn't promote it in enough time. Yeah, you know? Exactly. I try to tell people that. You know, you gotta understand. You gotta look at what. If you wanna be in contention with Lil Wayne's and the Jeezy's of the game, yeah. these niggas put show dates out. Four or five months before they even get here. Yeah, How you yeah. think niggas have enough time to build their money? You can't put a show out a week and then pull up on that shit. That's facts. Who gonna go? Your mom and them. <laughs> Ain't nobody else gonna pull up. The babysitter might come through because she, you know, well, she can't come because if you want to go, she gotta watch the kids. So you lost a fan there. What the fuck? Get your shit together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you feel about showcases and open mics and shit? Oh, yeah. I love it, man. Shoot. I used to go to um this spot out, out Granby Street. Uh, it was the venue on 35th I used to go out. And uh, Granby? You know, yeah, I performed. I'm the one, one of the only few artists to ever perform at the goddamn Granby Street Theater, man. Oh, where? That's not sound word, wasn't it? Definitely. I got accolades in my belt. Oh. And I perform with a live band. Big shout out to the first band. I told you, anytime we say a Virginia motherfucking act, I'm shooting the fucking live. 
Big shout out to the fuzz bag. Yeah, I did. I, I did. I, 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 yeah, hell yeah. She was lit. Facts. It looked like a real theater in that bitch. The only thing is where the screen is at is a fucking stage. <laughs> real <laughs> shit. When you watch, it's like a movie theater. It used to be a movie theater. No bullshit. So, um, after you're dud, you ain't put another one together yet, have you? I'm in the works. I'm right now. All right, so this one, then I'm going to lead you this. That's why I asked you about open mics right. and showcases. Right, right. I asked that for a, a specific reason. You know, I, I'm a journalist right now. Right. But the recording artist side of me hate them shits. Mm. And I only hate it. I don't hate them. I hate one of them. Right. I don't mind the showcase. I will fuck with a showcase every fucking time you have one. Okay. Uh, open mic. I want to tell you three words, but it's really wrong, and we can't come back from those three words. So I don't really say this. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying because oh, I yeah. feel like an open mic to me, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna let you say. I know I asked you a question. Then I started talking my fault. No, you know, you, you, big shout to Noriega. I learned that from you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so cut a nigga off while you talking. <laughs> fuck him. It's about me now. <laughs> so, so, so. So like, so, like, the reason why I don't care for them is because a open mic, if you go into an open mic as a recording artist, that's the fuck I am, that's the fuck he is, and give a fuck what he's talking about. Um, look at a club. The lady at the bar get paid. The DJ gets paid. Security gets paid. The owner probably in there, she gonna get it, or he gonna get paid. The, the manager of the club gonna get paid. And everybody know the promoter of the evening gonna get paid. Right. How does this happen? Everybody leaves. All of these people I just named stay back, head of security, blase by whoever, and everybody divvy up. Right. So if everybody in that club that performed the service is getting paid, why the fuck aren't you? Your service was you entertain these niggas. That's a very Am I right or wrong? No, it's proven back. No, the that's fuck you came to do? Exactly. You think Jay Z's gonna walk his ass up in the alley and come there on a fucking Wild Wild Wednesday and spit a ball? <laughs> Wait on it. The fuck out of here! It had never happened. <laughs> Thought you had a friend. <laughs> oh man! Right or wrong? No, you right. So no, I feel right like when I see an open mic, I feel like anytime I see that, and I and I'm gonna say this because I want I just want a trophy, and I just realized the trophy does say open mic on it. But I don't give a fuck. That was a showcase. That wasn't an open mic. I don't know why the fuck y'all called an open mic. And I told my lady, I can say this shit. Shout out to Blake Brown and everybody. Shout out to my nigga Boy Boy. Big shout out to Jack and Spade. He was in the building. But what I'm saying is, you know, you got to understand, an open mic is meant to showcase that. That's all it's meant to do. I feel you. If you keep going to an open mic and rap around the same motherfuckers you've been rapping around for the last five years, you ain't doing nothing but stagnate your growth. Mm. It's like playing chess. You should never play chess against a subpar opponent. Right. Because chess is a game that's always meant to move forward. You never digress in movement in chess. And that's how life is supposed to be played. You move that. forward. Exactly. You don't, unless you, you can go lateral, because sometimes you got to go lateral. Yeah. That's good to go parallel with your shit, but never digress. Man. Exactly. But now, how was your take on oh, I'm sorry. I just started off. Talking shit. Hey man, shoot, you was dropping some gems. That was like, oh, I'm, 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 hey, brother, I'm just, I'm, hey, I'm, just, I'm like a sponge. I'm just letting him open the end. Yeah. Man. See, I told you he was here. I was really doly, but you know, I needed somebody. My beautiful lady is on some bullshit. She didn't want to pull up next to me. I'm calling y'all. I don't care. And she in the building. So y'all know I ain't on no soccer fake nigga shit. And I almost had loud too. I almost had him. I promise you. He was like, yo, boys, I might do it. To have him. But I fucked up. I talked too long. I should have just said, I hang up. He, he didn't go for it, so I might be lying, I might be telling the truth. So I might get canceled, you never fucking know. Anyway. Anyway. It's my nigga, man. I fuck with that. He don't know how much I love that nigga for real, but that nigga's a good man for real, man. The man yeah, has been a positive, a positive force in this in this community. I've been home fucking three, four years. And I promise you, I was his biggest fucking hater. I tell, I love to tell that story. Shout out to my bro. What? Yo, Maurice Wallace, call in, bro. I know you watching, bro. Call in, bro. Yo, let me tell you why I hate it. And I love him, though. I never hated him on no real shit. It was just like, this nigga is direct competition. Because, no, I'm going to keep it a band. And I love him, bro. There's no sucker shit. But as men, you have to be able to say that. You can recognize talent. It's okay exactly. to say exactly. DJ Jason Nacho is nice and you scared the DJ against him. It's okay to say that. It's okay. It's okay. Like, it's all right. That's your I competition. Understand. I understand. But you got to understand, I came from prison at this time, so I was different mentally. Mm. I was on my loud the fuck who? They were loud faxing it up to us. This nigga's pissing me off. <laughs> 
He had a following. <laughs> then I meet this nigga at Charm Lounge, and he from Brooklyn. This is about a bitch. I'm from the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> so we locked in because of that. Then, keeping the band with you, if y'all want to know something, why I love the nigga, because he introduced me to Coop Chardonnay. What? 100. We was at the motherfucking, at Charm Lounge. He done had Coop. This is, see, this is how you know you a boss. The building was his that night. <laughs> shit was in my line, bro. Stamp it, bro. I don't want, you know what I'm saying, no sucker shit. I just, I, I see, this one, if you a hater, you gotta know where you a hater. And we all haters. I don't give a fuck what you say. If you hate a hater, that makes you a hater. Am I, keep it a band. If you hate a hater, that makes you a hater. I don't care. So, all of us are haters. I hate to see a bum ass nigga win. What I tell my lady all the time, what I tell you, baby? What I say? What I say? Can't stand that shit. A bum ass nigga winning. I can't take it. You ain't got no aspiration, no drive, no nothing. But everybody love you for some reason. Give you the pack or you hit the lottery or you got a banging job, but you just in the way. That shit burned me. You treat your girl like shit, you don't raise your kids, and you ain't about nothing. But you got the bag. Facts. Fuck you. That's how I feel. That's the hater shit. But back to my brother, because I'm going to give my nigga his dap. We don't give flowers. That's my big bro, Nori. We give dap round this motherfucker. I'm old with it. Listen, so we on the back pole, on the back, on the, on the, in, a, in, a, in a outside. <laughs> shit. It's 100,000 niggas out there, niggas out there smoking and shit. And me and this nigga talking, and he took me to personally meet the nigga. I was an instant hater right there and there. Damn. Why? Y'all know Kushan ain't fuck with Tory Lane. That nigga in the game. That nigga in London right now, matter of fact. This is some sucker shit. Fuck Coop Chardonnay. That's my nigga. I love him to death. Told you Virginia niggas get love. That's my bro. I got like three, four hits with that nigga. You crazy? That's my guy. But nah, like, to, to see his drive, and you got to understand, I knew his story before I knew him. Because when I was in prison, this is why I was a hater, because niggas was speaking on him when I was in prison. They said, what's the nigga out here from New York getting it, boss? Yeah, boss. This is what they kept telling me. Yeah, boss. Yeah, he eating too, boss. Like, what? No way, because he just started three years ago, four years ago. Right. So whatever the fuck he was doing before then, I don't know, bro. I can promise you I can show you letters, nigga. On my mama now. This shit don't make... I was, yo, this shit's stupid, bro. Because we as a people always take the easy way to destroy each other, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. We can have a dispute with a nigga over something stupid. And the first thing we want to do is kill a nigga. But let a cop shoot your motherfucking man, you'll run up, beat a Walmart up. Yeah. You fucking clown. But if I got a bigger pack than you or I make more money than you, now you want to shoot me in the face. Because you a bitch ass nigga. Because you don't know how to hustle or you can't get your pack up. That's facts. That's all that shit lame shit, bro. Anything you can hash out with a conversation nigga, do it. Fuck you proving by shooting a nigga or killing a nigga. You gonna go to jail, dummy. Oh, yeah, you gonna be one of two things. A lipstick wearer or a dick taker. <laughs> Bitch. I don't care about none of that shit. 100. Ain't nothing cool about yeah, being yeah, a yeah. dummy, bro. Ain't nothing cool about going to jail. Nah. These, I love the word lame. Going to jail is some lame ass shit, bro. That's the lamest shit you can fucking do. I promise you. You wanna be lame? Go to jail. Come shoot me, nigga. Mm. You going to jail, bitch. I don't give a fuck what you say. Not that I'm going to tell on you. Right. But come on, the demographic, they got gun cameras everywhere now. They go to Newport News and bust a gun off. That camera turn around so goddamn fast and the cops pull up on your dumb ass. You be like, whoa, what happened? You shot someone, so you're going to jail, dumbass. All the niggas that go to the club, they get all dressed up to be tough-faced and shit. And shit like that walking around the club. Looking yeah. bad as a bitch. You want to sit there and play with a nigga all night. I'm, yo, you, yo, I've seen that shit at clubs, bro. I've seen that shit at parties. I remember this one time I DJed a party out in Norfolk, bro. It was lit. It was lit. I was, it was me and my man. We was DJ. Yo, shout out to DJ Cool Cat. You know what I'm cool saying? Cool Cat, what up? What up? If you need, if, hey, if you need a good photographer out LA, yo, get right media. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Jesus. Slayers list, ladies. You know what I'm saying? Yo, it's almost getting cold. You know what I'm saying? It's getting cold out there. Slayerslist.com. 
when he do the wink, that mean hit him right the fuck now. <laughs> you want some other shit? I oh, no, for real, for real, <laughs> for real. <laughs> but nah, for real though. Um, damn, I don't know. Um, cause, nah, I'll be, <laughs> I'll but this, you know, because this episode was supposed to be my my reflection. I was going to title it that. Cause I had no host, real Fact. talk, and I don't need a co-host, right. of course. But the show is built on the premise of us being together, or exactly. me being doly for the most part. Exactly. But exactly. you know, I I can I like to talk to people. Exactly. But when I have a moment to talk, you know, I talk a lot. Sometimes I don't say shit though. Exactly. And I'm gonna keep it. That's that's real talk on my end. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Meaning that I have a lot of pointless conversations sometimes. Oh yeah, definitely. You know what definitely. I'm saying? Yeah. But not with intent. It's just that. Sometimes the intellect that you entertain exactly. may not be on your level. Exactly. So, you know, as a, as, as, a, as a higher thinking individual, you can talk to a lower thinking individual. Exactly. But a lower thinking individual can't talk. He can talk to a, a, a higher thinking, but he can't conversate with a higher thinking individual. Exactly. You get exactly. what I'm saying? No, I get that. Then that's that's real talk. You know, that's why I say I always talk, but sometimes I don't be saying shit. <laughs> I stand on it, though, bro. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. But I'm here now. I feel and you, I want man. niggas to understand, not even, like, I, I don't care about that nigga word. Because I be, I be, some days I be on the fence with that word, too. I ain't gonna lie. Some days I hate it. And then some days I be like, man, that shit is the shit. But I'm gonna tell you why I love it, and I'm gonna tell you why I hate it. Right. I love the nigga word because for the first time, if niggas actually pay attention, mm -hmm. we took something from the white people. Damn. And we flipped it. Right, right. Pay attention. We took something that they gave us and made it a term of endearment. Exactly. Like, fuck it. And at the end of the day, the word as is and even spelled mean black. Exactly. So what the fuck you mad because a nigga call you a nigga for? Because he being you a nappy-headed motherfucker? Nah, because you the ignorant one by letting that shit fuel your anger, dummy. You going to shoot that man? Nope. But if I got a bigger gun than you, or if I'm the plug and I got $20,000 on me right now, you gonna pop my motherfucking ass like a whole chicken neck. Yeah, man. Cut the shit, bro. You ain't gonna rob Pablo Escobar, motherfucker. Say hell no. Yo, I used to ask niggas this dumb ass shit. No bullshit. I'm gonna give you three choices. I'm gonna ask you this. You gonna answer right. this. I ain't gonna answer. You gonna answer this. All right. All right. There's the runner. Mm -hmm. There's the middleman. Right. And there's the plug. Okay. If you rob the runner, he probably shoot you, get his goons to beat you up. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. If you rob the middleman, they okay. might kidnap you, tie you up, hold you for a couple of days. But if you rob the blood, oh, yeah. he gonna cut your leg off, mail it to your mom, let that shit heal up. Then cut your arm off, mail it to your sister, let that shit heal up. Then cut your other leg off, mail it to one of your kids. Who you gonna rob? Smoke everybody with this one. Watch this. I probably want to rob the middleman. Why? See, see with the see with the middleman. Okay, he he got something over the runner. When it comes to you know with the enforce with the with the with the with the manpower. But so do I. He, but I, I'm not saying that as being being cocky. I'm just being confident. No, you basically saying the level of war can be met. Fuck the, the the runner. You can go all the way up the wall with the middleman, but you can't fuck with the poppy. Is what you're saying. But see, that's the thing. You gotta learn some zoo out of war. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you know, what I'm saying you gotta, you know, say I'm, you know, what I'm saying 48 laws of power, all that. You know, what I'm saying I be reading, man. So when it comes to Getting to the poppy, you gotta go through, you know. So you got, you can't, you can't get to the poppy without going, you know, without. No, I'm just saying if I no, I'm giving you three mm -hmm. different scenarios. Right, you got right. to rob one of these niggas. Okay, okay, That's all you okay. Got my to bad, do. my bad. You my got bad. access to every one of these niggas. Pick okay. which one you want to rob. Got you. The poppy right. gonna chop your ass up for a month straight. You are gonna be alive. He gonna chop you up though for a whole month. Though. Right, you gonna be right. losing parts of your body for a month. He gonna let right. it heal and cut some off. Right. The other nigga, the middle man, he might kidnap you, then shoot you. Right, right. The runner probably jump you and beat you to death. <laughs> mm. Which one you gonna rob? Okay. Okay. This is now that, now that, okay, my bad. 
My fault, y'all. I didn't mean to get that deep. Nah, you good. You took it to a philosophical <laughs> diadrama to a bombatomically I mean, okay, Socrates I'm, I'm philosophies and hypotheses. You know, so I want to drop the gems. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, going to tell you. Yeah, you was going, you was on your boot tank shit. Shout out to the Rizzo. Shout out to the Abbott, man. Yeah, you was on your shit. But, um, okay. One thing was ready to get deep on <laughs> He's like, yo, you see the water and shit come from the cactus and it flower the grass. And after they do that, then they turn that shit into a waterfall and you got to get you a cup because it's been purified and you can drink through a straw now. What? <laughs> Earth? Oh, snap. Nah, go ahead, bro. Um, <laughs> so which one you going to rob? I'll probably rob the runner. You going to rob the runner? I'm going to rob the runner. Why? You see, with the runner, see, I feel like, because, you know, sometimes... Stop. I got to stop you. You got to stop You me. already answered the question wrong. Hmm. You already fucked up. From wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me rephrase that. Because now I'm starting to... Now I'm... Because see... Because see... Because see... Because see, 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 now I'm starting to really think about it. Get with it. I tell you. You wanted to be... You wanted to be risen five minutes ago, but now you want to be Barney. Get your ass <laughs> on my side. No, 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 Give me my nigga. Let's, let's go. Let's Come on. Because I got you. I'm going to show you something. No, boy, this is what we do as a people. This is how stupid we are. Okay. We, myself, too. All right, you got to answer the question, man. Oh, no, no, no. But, um... We can't drink all this hoes. I got a lady going home today. She got to get some oh, yeah. whole lot of that. She been, but, she been cutting up. She ain't been taking care of the but kids. I'm gonna rob, but I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to go back to my first... <laughs> now, I'm going to go back to my first my first choice, then. So, you going back to the run? No, I'm going, no, I'm going back to the middle, man. Because you, you feel like you could bring the war up to that point. Exactly. Let me show you something. Exactly. I just gave you the answer and you still fumbled. You're huh? my nigga though. Because guess what? In all scenarios, right. death is imminent. Fact. So in life, mm. if you're not willing to jump out the window and take the chances to get what you want, mm. you're going to keep robbing and running. Damn. Shit. If I got a chance to get away with $100 million by I robbing and plug. I just got a gem. By robbing the man, I, I just gave you the outcome, though. Death is yeah. imminent no yeah. matter which yeah. one you go if you get yeah. jammed up. Exactly. But the point is, are you willing to take that risk to be successful? Because you already showed me you're willing to take that risk to go to prison, mm. to sit in Red Onion, because mm. your man said you popping. Oh, and let me man. tell you something. For all you niggas who got a lady at home and go to your house at 9 o'clock at night, I'm starting to think you suspicious. Oh, shit. Because there's no way I'm leaving titties and ass to go stay on the block with a nigga. Or sit in the car with a nigga. Or play the game with a nigga. That shit sound dumb and gay. I don't care. Shit shit together, man. Niggas got yeah, yeah, yeah. niggas out here humping and have beautiful kids and don't even take care. That's right. I can't stand that shit. Yeah. That shit's atrocious. Mm. The fuck gave you a penis for? <laughs> to pee? Open your mouth, bitch. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. This might get me canceled. Oh, Fuck that shit. My God. <laughs> nah, real nigga shit. We gotta start being accountable, bro. You know, nah, me and Lyle come from an era when we was in the city. Respect was everything. Yeah. It was the only, am I lying? Yeah, it was the only thing. I understand. My parents are from the Bronx. They, so you know, I'm from the Bronx. I know, I'm from Ergo. You said. Mi amigo! Mi messo, papi! Mi no si lo dai! Eh, lo mano! Oh my god, hey. will you be papi? My nigga, <laughs> si, <see>, brother! <laughs> no. But it was some real shit, like, even when it was hard-headed shit, if a nigga got shot or beat up, he did some disrespectful shit to get shot or beat yeah, up. That's facts. No bullshit. Yeah. You don't get shot or beat up because you was being a cool nigga. Yeah. You got shot up for being a fool, nigga. We already met my mama them. But, um... At the end of the day, man, you know, and I'm, I, I like the, you know, we we can't be here too long. I know bro got shit to do. Yeah. He's like tied his life up, and I was late a fucking game. I know this nigga like, I fucking hate boss. Why did I ask this nigga to come here? <laughs> nah, fuck but, this. Nah. I'm gonna tell you right now though, I ain't go cap because you know what I'm saying. Like you said, tra yo, traffic fucked up. Traffic is crazy. Traffic is crazy. Yeah. But nah, at the end of the day, you know, I promise you, I this is the this is this this show is called. And for y'all that didn't catch the wave yet, and I don't think I think loud caught it because he he his mind shot. But you know, sometimes you gotta watch loud, right? Because he be on Facebook making them shots and shit, and I be at work and I be feeling bad like, damn, is he talking about me? Like, <laughs> like damn, I didn't shoot the podcast about a week. <laughs> shit, hold up, <laughs> I ain't working, bro. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, that's my bro, bro. Bro gave me the blessings to shoot live from the podcast. I mean, from the dog show Saturday, man. That's my nigga, man. Like, real shit. But I, I, in case y'all ain't catch it, the big face truth is now. <laughs> this might get us captured because I'm ignorant. And this wasn't <laughs> my idea. This was Six's idea. And he knew we was on the same platform. And he said, fuck it. Nigga, we can go four times a month. I said, yes, we can. <laughs> So once I clear that joint up with Marty Wright, you're going to see me one more time with a big face truth. And then after that, we all the way out the window. We here every week. And in a minute, loud, it might be twice a week. Because uh, y'all think I got a job. I'm going to tell the world this shit. I got a fucking job, baby. $35 an hour, nigga. Big money, oh, my mama. Big money. Oh, my mama. Big money. Yo. Fucked around. Let me tell you how I got the job, bro. I, I promise you, I made $35.05 an hour, bro. On my mama. I'll post that shit on Facebook and show it to you. Yo, fucked around on, 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 on Indeed. Fuck with my lady, right? You know, lady, listen. I got to give her her love. Yo, this nigga been with me. If I cry, fuck you. I'm sensitive. Who cares? And I've been drinking. So it is what it is. But on some real nigga shit, bro. When I met this lady... I thought I was on an upswing. I was in transition from one job that paid me less to one that paid me more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And she was there. Mm. Now, if y'all see my lady, she look like, and she act like she look. She ain't with none of the dumb shit. <laughs> so for her to be fucking with me is a miracle. I'm all <laughs> with the dumb shit. <laughs> Listen, bro. I done been in jail fucking with this girl. I done been flat fucked up fucking with this girl. This girl done opened a fucking home to me. Mm. Done put bread in my pocket, bro. Mm. Done fed me. Had me around her kids, nigga. Damn. While the nigga was going like this. Till I smacked face dead to the ground. Damn. 100. Wow. I'm going to get that shit respect because when no one called my phone, bro. No one said, yo, boss, you all right, nigga? I don't hear you. I ain't see you. I don't smell you. What you doing? None of that. Even reached out to my daughter. Shout this out, Karen, man. I love you regardless. Like, even made the attempt to make that shit right with my daughter. Don't even know my daughter. Man. The fuck? Y'all niggas be chasing stupid shit. Get your fucking life together. Shout to Misha, man. Real talk. That's my lady. If you don't like it, come fight me. I can fight. I promise you. My mama, I can't. Everybody know I can't. I ain't. You know, this is the loud nigga in the room song. God skipped that song super far. Everybody know that. I can really go, nigga. Shit. So, fuck that. I ain't big for nothing. And I got neck issues. So, you know I'm going to fuck you up. So, so um, she been there, real nigga shit. I done got sidetracked like a motherfucker. It's all good, man. Hey, man, you gotta get your love to late, man. Nah, no bullshit. Hey, you blessed, bro. You blessed. But that's what I'm saying. So I'm on a D, right? She been with me. So I had the airport job. One day I wanted to know what happened to the airport job. I was working for American Airlines, right? Went through one clearance. When we made the first clearance, we was hyped. Oh, shit, we got a bottle and everything. (laughs) (laughs) We lit like a bitch. We got the bag. Fucked around and went went to do the second clearance. That shit said, burp, burp, burp. I said, what? Had it. Digress. Go back in May, right? I said, I right, fuck it. So I'm looking for jobs left and right. Fuck around, find this dumbass. Big shout out to my bro, Chubb. Chubb put me on this moving job shit. You know what I'm saying? So I get on this joint. That shit few far in between, though. Days ain't nothing. Work, work, one day I worked at this so stupid shit. Nigga, nigga was out here scrambling. I ain't had no weed. I started smoking blacks again. Cigarettes. Nigga, how long I had no weed? Like three days? I was fucked up. Nigga, I couldn't even go to the store and buy a black. I was in, yo. I would text her, can you cash up me a dollar? She would send me five. <laughs> they get you a beer too, nigga. I promise. <laughs> nigga. I'm saying, look. So I'm on D. The fucking job pull up. Mm. Shit say soft wash. Power wash automatic club rain. Why? I don't know. I just say, it got to be soft wash. But then I thought about all these car washes they start opening. Right. They open one in Williamsburg. I promise you, they started giving them niggas 17 bucks. I what? said, what the fuck? <laughs> now, on my ID joint, I got the screenshot. I did not qualify for this job. That bitch had red asses <laughs> and said, your resume does not match this job. I hate no. the bitch anyway. Fuck it, bro. Remember what I said? You gonna ride the plug or you gonna ride the runner? Mm. What are you gonna do is tell me, nah. 
Fucked around, the lady inboxed me. We was having technical difficulties through the email. Finally got with her. She said, can you do a phone interview? I did it right in front of my queen, I promise you. In the morning, she had to go to work. We had to wait, because we was on the phone, and we can't move, you know, you gotta be relaxed. So, shop Nori. So, <laughs> so um, I'm on the phone, you know, I'm just regular bars. The lady fall in love, I'm a line, boo. Just, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't change me for you, because I don't want you to change you for me. I'm gonna be me, I ain't gonna be wild and crazy cursing and shit, but I'm gonna, I do me. So, <laughs> the lady was like, the lady was like, yo, um, well, um, the crazy, because I said, well, when can I start? She said, well, the crazy thing is the boss man said if I liked you, I could call you in for a face-to-face interview. Well, do you like me? She said, can you be here? What time can you be here today? My queen had to work, my nigga. My, I'm the bum on the couch. I ain't, I ain't working right now. So she go to work, but then the nigga, just like she did this, she helped me save money, too, because... The, the drink wasn't about me not fucking with you. We got this. Don't spend no money. I won't give you the bag for that. Cause you know what I'm saying? But this, that's why I fuck with her. Because she keep a nigga strapped for real. She keep me regular. We got this. Why am I going to spend $5 for that? You my nigga, yeah, but I got this. <laughs> three for free. I just, shit, just pay for the motherfucker. <laughs> got to give her money back, too. She did the cash app. Wow. She bought it. I don't do no sucker shit. She bought it, nigga. I got to get her money back. But anyway, <laughs> so go on the joint. She say, babe, do this. I say, what? She said, just take me to where you go to the interview. I just want to get married. I just want to get married. I'm just bullshit. <laughs> no, I'm not bullshit, but you know what I'm saying. Get the hey. fuck out of here. So. Hey, I was in the vibe. Yeah, I was, I was gone. I was like, hey, I was about to go in. Yo. You should have boom, 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 boom. Shoot. Boom. Now, so boom. I get to the interview. They take me back to meet the dude. Okay. I meet the dude and shit. Dude cool as a motherfucker. He like, so... You get to explain the job. Now, I lied my ass off. They said, are you scared of heights? Hell no. <laughs> I get high every day. <laughs> so, look. Nigga, not the same. Different half. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> they fucked me up because when they, when they show me this shit, I see lifts. So, I'm thinking, oh, we got JLG lifts, scissor lifts. So, I'm thinking we good. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even tripping. Yeah, I ain't scared of no heights as long as I'm in something. Like a roller coaster. Airplane, preferably. But, you know, yeah. we'll take a roller coaster every now and then. So, I'm like, yeah, he said, so um, what you thinking? Th- this is what got me. He said, we're offering, this is how the breakdown goes. You get 35, they, they get, I got the whole shit. They send me an email. I'm like, I'm like the whole shit, break your whole shit down from hourly, daily, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and yearly. You can't fuck that up. I make $72,000 a fucking year, and I'm a four-time convicted Violent felon. I ain't got no drug charges. Everybody that know me know it's fucked up out here for me. Mm. Can't go work at the butcher shop because I like knives and guns. So they right. won't put me there. Right. You see? You got to put that nigga in Walmart. He big and strong. Let him move a box or something. Nah, I power wash, bro. Matter of fact, my company's so dope right now. What they do in a slow time is right. they have contracts with multiple people from Richmond all the way to fucking the Outer Banks, and they fucking hang Christmas lights, bro. Oh, damn. I've been hanging Christmas lights on Million Dollar Homes for the last two days. Dead in my line back, I promise you. I took a picture of this shit last night. I was out there 7 o'clock Shoot. at night. Well, That's why I was late today. We just had to be traffic. I promise you. I got, I got back to the side. I had to come back to this Just got a question. Though. Was, it, was it a big house like the McAllister house in Home Alone? My nigga. The houses, the house, the first house we did could probably fit the McAllister house in it. Damn. We out Ford's Colony. We, everything we do, HOA shit. Wow. Big, we did a small house, I'm lying. We did a small one in Chesapeake, too. It was a driveway, though. Oh. Okay. We didn't do the house. Right. Every house we did, dumb big. Oh, my <laughs> mom. I can pull it up. I can show it to you. Every house we did, dumb big. Damn. Every house. Damn. Nigga, three story. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm out there freestyling, bro. Mm. Scared the death of a ladder. <laughs> Nigga say get the ladder, why? What do you do to me? <laughs> Shit, leave that bitch over there. What you want me to do on the ground? We cut the grass? Oh, we ain't here for that, okay. Hey, yo, man. You gotta get, I get on that motherfucker, bro. I got on the roof today. Shook like a bitch. <laughs> but yo, check this out, though. Shake it like a leaf. <laughs> but check this out, though. I remember, that, I remember one time, though, I because w- I'm afraid. I, I ain't gonna say I'm afraid of heights, but I had to get over that fear of heights. But this one time, I was, um... It was at Bush Gardens, and I had to go on this one roller coaster. Damn, Which one was it? 
Ooh, I got a bush garden it was, for your ass. It used to, it used to be great. Oh. It used to be the wolf joint. It used to, be, but it's, it's now that um. The, the, the big bad wolf. It used to be Big Bad Wolf, but it's what now is, something else, though. What is it now? It's like a car joint. It's like it got cars or whatever. Oh, that's that new shit. Uh, Verboten? Yes. Verboten? That was the, 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 the yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, that shit. Yeah, that All shit. All right, so when I got on that joint. That shit lit, too. That, that shit fast. That joint, yo. I think I got whiplash. So, Go ahead. um... I go on that joint. It's me, my homeboy, my sister, mm-hmm. and we was all in that joint. And mind you, I'm in that mug like, like shit, like God damn it, God, I'm trying to go on this mug. I'm gonna do it. I ain't no, I ain't no hope. I ain't no bitch. Don't be I a hoe. I ain't no mug. Don't be a mug. <laughs> so I'm on the joint, and he's and my man's. He's looking back like, you good, Jay? You good? You alright, my boy? I'm like. Shut up, shut up. I want to get off up. this bitch. <laughs> like, come on, Jay, you got this. I'm hanging on to the mug. And next thing you know, we're going up. I'm like, oh, Lord. <laughs> if I don't make it, tell my mama I love oh, Jesus. Lord. Hey, because I ain't going to cap. Yo, when it comes, hey, I was like that when I got on an airplane. I'm on that mug like. Airplane, mm. I was too. So you don't like roller coasters? I'll go. I'll get on roller coasters. I ain't going to cap. I, I mean, I ain't going to. I mean, I ain't. Like I said. If I tend to have the like, if I tend to be like, if I if I if I, if I, I ain't gonna cat, I'm a, I can be like Houdini in a heartbeat. I'm gonna be like, where'd Jay go? Go. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, shoot, shoot, just call me Power. I got a ghost. <laughs> I got a Bush Garden story, but I can't tell it. Only this nigga. They told us the other day. I damn near peed on myself. Man, man, Keisha, I promise you. I got got you, bro. Oh, this nigga. Hold on. Yeah, cause he, he listen. This nigga had a Bush Garden story. I, I I didn't forget about it. I just forgot about it. Like, I want him to tell. He gonna tell you though. I'm gonna tell you before he. I'm texting him now. Okay. But um, we go to Bush Gardens, right? Right. Now the story fucked me up both ways because <laughs> two people saw me do some sucker shit. Now, <laughs> the first person saw me do some sucker shit is my bro Man Man and and his wife Keisha. So we at Bush Gardens. Now, I've been keeping it in the band since before I started saying this shit. When we go, we on Apollo's Chariot. When I'm walking up, look at Marty Wright. When I'm walking up the goddamn, uh, the goddamn, uh, platform to get on the ride. Now, this is the ride Fabio broke his nose on. When they first opened Bush Gardens up and Apollo's Chariot came out, <laughs> you know, he was on it and the seagull smacked him in the face. The pretty nigga that used to do the, the suave hair commercials. Look it up, no bullshit. In Williamsburg. Fuck his whole face up. Broke his nose and no shit. Oh, so, and he was a model. He, he ain't heard shit after that, nigga. He was fucked. So, <laughs> real shit. He was a big, big nigga. Okay. So, we don't lie when he fuck it. This might get us canceled. But, uh, so, the, um, I'm like, yo, I can see Newport News from this motherfucker. What? But I'm seeing it being dead the fuck ass serious. Y'all, I'm about to get off this shit. Y'all playing. I'm on a platform. We're not even on a fucking ride, and the ride go up. So if I'm here and can see Newport News from where the fuck I'm standing and got to go up some more steps and get in that purple shit, and that shit going to go even further, I can see North Carolina. Go bitch. with God, my man. Because no. I, I, no. I ain't going to no. care. I would have been like, bro, you going down nah, black. <laughs> Nope. So what happened was I'm a sucker I'm a scary ass nigga I only ride roller coasters That give me this right here If you got this I'm on your ass Unless you're a wooden joint You ain't got no Cause you ain't doing nothing crazy You just yeah, wood going up and down So And I hate them You know you don't seat belts I No like, that's a bumper car shit I ain't fucking with No 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 the, the, the bumper car seat belt No not the bumper car Well I think the bumper car seat belt I think it is I call it bumper car seat belt Although I think it's cause I think so but yeah, it is about Garcia, but, but yo, when the um, the, that was the um, the joint that I went on the voting with, cause that was like this, I was like, yeah, and I hate that shit, with, cause yo, like, your arms is like, and they hit that drop, and they hit that fuck, bruh. Well, but yo, my bad. No, you good? Cause my story's funny. Oh, I get in the rag. Right. Well, this was funny too. Oh. And I put this little purple shit between my legs. Right, right. So the lady coming by, and this is how I only noticed, she's only coming by snatching one thing. I'm thinking this shit gonna come from behind me because, you right. know, I'm like in the back type back. So I'm thinking something she can do like this at some point. Exactly. But they'll never do that. The lady coming by, you know, they taking every, every seat. Mm-hmm. Big shout out to LaRonda Coles. She has a baby mama, bro, Shook, 730. Um, I've known LaRonda a whole life, the whole family, good people. 
Okay. Check it out. She's a kid then. Okay. She's in front of me. I don't know she's in front of me. When I start wigging out, she turns around and says, Casey, I'm like, oh, I'm embarrassed as fuck now because a kid that think I'm the coolest nigga just in right. here freaking. Right. Nigga, I told a lady, let me out this motherfucker. Oh, shit. I, I, if man man would have called me right now, he would have sit here and told you, I promise you, get me off this. Do not let this train go. I do not want to ride this ride. <laughs> On my mama and them, and they let me out that joint. Now we I can't we, we we ain't got too much longer to go, man. I wanna thank you for sitting there with me, bro. Oh no doubt. It's been a pleasure, man. I can't wait to work with you. Y'all yeah, get familiar no with the name. Tell the people they can find you at right quick, bro. Alright, so you can check me out on on IG, Sinatra Speaks. You also on my YouTube channel, Sinatra Speaks. You know what I'm saying? You know, my platform you get to see a whole lot of, you know, my story times, you know, DJ mixes, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? You also got on my my TikTok, Sinatra31. Also, shout outs to my apologies, but yo, most importantly, shout outs to Hidden Wealth and also, you know what I'm saying, Mental Theory. You know what I'm saying? That's my my, my brother joint my brother's platform. Yo, hit yo, shout out to Hidden Wealth out there. You know what I'm saying? What's good, little bro? But yo, um, you can also check me out also on, you know, hey, you hit me up on the reels on on, on Facebook too. Yo, I'm I'm everywhere. I'm like, I'm like, shoot, I'm like, I'm your friendly neighborhood DJ. I'm going to say it like that. Slash dope boy. <laughs> I had to say that. I don't know why. I mean, I mean, friendly neighborhood I mean, dope I mean, boy. <laughs> I mean you, know, I'm, you know what I'm saying? It happens. Yeah. Thank you again, my guy. Thank oh, no you. doubt, no doubt. Um, before we disperse, I always got to make sure we got, what, like five more minutes? Hopefully. Just want to say a quick piece, three minutes. All right, cool. This is where we at with it, man, before I go. Yes, sir. Big shout out to my brother Six Sense, by the way, who was the co who was the creator of this goddamn show. He's a fucking idiot. Love me. <laughs> this is his brain child. He just got the dumbest nigga to follow him anywhere he go. Big shout out to Six Sense. Um, I wanna give a shout to my family, DDMG, C L E. We all here, we outside. I wanna give a shout to Misha. Holding a nigga down. I wanna give a shout out to everybody that's out there taking care of their kids. Before I go, I'm gonna do this. You have to start being responsible for the things that you and only you can control. Mm. You cannot make someone else responsible by saying they control you. Mm. When I'm speaking to you, I'm speaking to myself too. I have that habit sometimes where I feel as though as if Whatever my excuse is, I can't say that someone made me do that. That's stupid. No one made me do shit. I chose to do it. Their ways, actions, and speak have no control over my legs, mouth, or arms. Mm. And it damn sure don't control my brain. Mm. I ain't a puppet. So with that respect and knowledge, you got to understand, in order to say that you care for someone else, you first must learn how to love yourself and then love yourself. Mm. Running around here with guns in your waistbands and you want to kill everything and you want to prove you the hardest guy out, it's not going to get you nothing but your face on a t-shirt or life sentence. That's the only thing that come out of that, bro. I'm speaking it because I lived through it. Thank God I'm able to say I survived it. And I no longer live like that, bro. I don't be outside. I'm not running around with guns and a hundred niggas and on the corners and been in blocks at 10 o'clock. I'm in my lady bed at a decent hour trying to get her to stop fucking with Math Hoffa and watch Drink Champs. <laughs> or she at my crib trying to get me to watch Love and Hip Hop. Oh, goodness. So at the end of the day, and we have children. She has three, I have two. That makes that six. Of course I can't. So get it. If you got children, man, be responsible. If you alive, inhale and exhale, but enjoy it while you do it. Always look up, never look down. It's the big face bully boss. I'm done talking. Powered by Virginia. Radio.